this is normally where we'd be, but during the whole summer and everything that's gone on, we've been recording remotely. And one of the ways that we've recorded remotely is through a method that I came up with using GitHub to share actual recording sessions. We use Ardour and Ubuntu Studio. One day, I was, as I was looking at the way Ardour works, it occurred to me, I'm like, this is all managed by one file system and a bunch of folders. So what if we could actually collaborate using the recording software, not just files, like we'd be able to listen to each other's tracks, make adjustments, add EQ, do that type of thing. And we've been messing with it and have actually started recording songs that way. And we're all able to work from home and share these files and put our own input into the production process. We've basically deconstructed the way that recording is done. I'm pretty psyched about that. I'm gonna show you the breakdown of the song itself, something from a live stream that I just did. And this is the final mix that we're doing for the song right now. And I kind of wanted to go over it while I wanted to mix to see what's up. I think I see what it sounds like, kind of go over some of the final mixes so we can release this thing. So what we got here, let me stop this first of all. So we've got several tracks. I'm going to solo some of them. We've got, how many tracks does this song have? 12 tracks, I think. I don't know. What am I going to count these in front of you? These two lines right here is how the song started out. I'm going to solo these and unmute them so you can hear how it originally started. So I created some MIDI tracks right here. I wrote a bass line. And then this little harmony line that's gonna be kind of like what the vocals are. So then the first thing that happened was is I wrote that and I had some lyrics that I kind of did and I sent it off to my drummer and my drummer started recording this percussion line. So he put that behind it first of all. So that's track one, he created that and then he created a new track adding this. And I kind of like the way those are. So the drums I did, what did I do here? On the actual drums themselves, I kind of wanted to add a little bit of effect. So I added a nice little guitar boost on it, messed with the EQ a little bit, brought out, took out some of the low end there. There's that. This is all very confusing. I had so many moving parts and I'm sitting here listening to this. I love what our bass player did with this. So that's the bass line. I think I and then I had the Went vocal parts. Too fast. Looking back, I saw time that I. So, in the vocals, I have two lines that I'm doing here. Let me get over to that side. I think I went too fast. So for the vocals, I have one that I sing through a harmonica mic that I have over there. This harmonica mic right here is what I sing that through. So that's how I got this particular vocal line. So it goes like this. I added some distortion to it as well. And then along with the normal vocal line, the lower one, so that's a higher one. I sing a little bit higher and it's all distorted and then together they go. I think I went too fast. Looking back, I saw time that I wanted back. So that's the vocal line. I did some EQing, I got some reverb on it, and then I put a vintage delay, and then I ran it through a guitar rat pedal. That is another thing that actually comes with the Ardour session. Well, not with the Ardour session. It comes with, um, we use Ubuntu Studio. The entire band does. 
So that's also the way that we're able to share because we all have the same plugins built in for these sessions. So we all have the access to the same pedals and effects and all that kind of stuff. And this one right here is a rat pedal. And that's when I'm running my vocals through on that harmonica one. That's how it gets that effect. So if I solo that out here. Yeah. So that's those right there. The guitar line comes in and that one was recorded by our guitarist. Makes sense. Um, <laughs> duh. Now he put that guitar line in there to go along with my piano line. And that's that guitar line. It, it breaks up. may not have been right, but that's the chance I took. Who knows what would happen if I made you love with you? You. And there's that piano but line again. Now here is the coolest try. part of the song. So, with us sharing this coming up, with us sharing this, and this is the part that I really want to make sure that goes good, good in the mix. Our bass player was messing around and he was learning how to use the MIDI control, these things here. So if you look at this section here, we've got the MIDI controller and then this is the part that our bass player Cliff wrote. And while he was messing around with that, <laughs> this part's funny, and he came up with this sound here, which is awesome. I'm gonna solo it at first, but then I'm gonna let you hear what it sounds like when it comes in. So this is the part. I love this part. And then it just drones for a long time, right? So, that's the part by itself. Now listen to how it goes with the song. And this this is awesome, the way that it works with the guitar line and everything. With you, you, I check that one. So inside there, there are, inside the song, let's see, where are those little hits that are happening? Oh yeah. So these hits right here are just little vocal mimicry. Is that the word I want to use? So I added this MIDI guitar down here. I don't know why I called it MIDI guitar. It's not a guitar. Which goes along with the bass line. So those are the rhythms that kind of go together. And that's from the original part that I wrote. Yeah. So that's going to be the final mix. That whole thing was done over, uh, done remotely. None of the whole song was recorded with each person individually working on it at home through a system that we came up with to share files over GitHub. <laughs>